Hello, everyone, and thank you all very much for coming to our monthly webinar series. This is sponsored by, by the Journal of Cardiovascular Aging. I will briefly tell you about the journal, which is published by OAE Publishing Company. The journal uh, has been in press for the last uh, three years. Now we are at the beginning of the fourth year. It is an open access journal. Uh, aging is defined very broadly and uh, uh, we age since the birth of the first cell. So we're not that uh, strict about uh, category of the uh, uh, papers that we published. We publish all uh, type, basic and clinical and uh, original research articles, of course, are the top priority. And we love to have your articles submitted to JCA, we publish uh, J, uh, reviews, we publish resource reports, res perspective, editorial commentaries, and so forth. We are really, our goal is to minimize uh, so-called uh, reviewers experiments. We like, our uh, goal is to uh, only require essential experiments that change the conclusion of the paper. Otherwise, we judge the paper as they are. And uh, we like to be very timely and get it reviewed quickly and, and uh, process the paper through our system uh, relatively uh, rapidly. We have a distinguished uh, board of ed editors and editorial members, and we're currently recruiting new editors and rotating off some of the old ones. And this is basically our editorial board is a rotational editorial board. So we are looking for new people who are enthusiastic in contributing to the journal. And uh, the journal has a number of features uh, in addition uh, uh, to publishing. One of our most important feature is uh, the webinar series. And uh, we had uh, 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 maybe eight or 10 of those and typically prominent uh, scientists um, uh, uh, speak through this webinar series. Uh, David Cass was one of them recently. He is a panelist now. And uh, today uh, is our distinct pleasure to have uh, Professor Yibing Wang that will be introduced by Dr. Tagmeyer. He is on the uh, attendee, but he is the co-host. I'm not sure how he end up joining as an attendee, but Eileen will transfer her, uh, uh, transfer Dr. Tagmeyer to, uh, to the panelist, hopefully shortly to introduce you Ben, otherwise I'll do so. Our, our uh, the panelists are in alphabetical order, Dr. David Cass uh, from Johns Hopkins, Dr. Roger Foe from uh, colleague of uh, Professor Yebin from Singapore, Robert J. Schwartz, a former colleague of uh, yeah, Yebin from Baylor days, and Zin Liang Ma, uh, professor at uh, 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 Thomas Jefferson University. With that, uh, Dr. Tagmeyer, are you available to take over uh, and introduce uh, Yibin, or would you like me to do that? Hey, Jay. Hey, good morning, Dr. Tagmeyer. I, I'm a little, I was a little confused. Please forgive me, AJ. Um, Yibin and I, have been friends and colleagues for many, many years. And um, I remember the times when we were both very interested in, in branch-chain amino acid metabolism in the heart. Um, and uh, well, parts have sort of diverged uh, since then somewhat. And uh, I would prefer, AJ, if you could introduce Jibin because uh, <laughs> I would have done my homework a little bit better if I had known about this honorable task. I, I have the greatest um, admiration and uh, respect for Jibin, and I think he has made substantial uh, contributions uh, to a field that has received relatively little attention, and that is the interface between the catabolic and the anabolic arm of uh, uh, intermediate metabolism in the heart. 
And the list is now for AJ to, <laughs> to, to fill in, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tagmeyer. Uh, but with that, uh, we will turn the podium to Professor Yibing Wang, uh, who is uh, truly a pioneer in intracellular uh, signaling. This first uh, came to foray uh, into cardiovascular sciences with the discovery of P38 and followed up uh, with uh, uh, delineating the role of MAP kinase pathways in cardiovascular disease. His recent work has been on cardiac myocyte maturation and uh, how they are chamber specific and regulated uh, through different signaling pathways. His link to Dr. Tagmar will go to his work on uh, branch chain amino acid and, uh, and its role in, in uh, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and hence the link to, uh, uh, to Professor uh, uh, David Cass, and they had conversation on that as well. Of course, Yibin is well recognized to this audience for his pioneering work through AHA, being the chair of the Basic Science uh, uh, Council and running the Basic Science meeting uh, a few years ago, as well as recipient of Basic Scientist Award from AHA and, uh, and uh, uh, a Tom Smith lectureship that he gave which was a packed audience, I recall, uh, on talking about the role of omics and transcriptomics in heart failure. Uh, of course, in terms of uh, what I typically talk about is the metrics, <laughs> uh, despite the fact that I'm not very uh, fan of it, but that's one measure, uh, qual quantitative measure that we use. And uh, Yibing has been up there, which an H index of 90 is one of the highest scientists uh, with over 270 publications in major journals and uh, over uh, close to 30,000 citations to his credit. And of course, he is the uh, associate editor of JCA as well as uh, 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 recently uh, established Jack Asian uh, 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 edition and uh, uh, several other journals he uh, 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 plays uh, a uh, major role in that. He has been uh, recognized by numerous awards, as I mentioned, uh, the, one of the most prestigious one, Thomas Smith Award lectureship that he gave, as well as the Best Scientist Award from AHA in 2023. And uh, his uh, incredible uh, track record of accomplishment, which is really enviable for most of us in the field. I would not take too much time and turn the podium to Professor Yibing, if those of you interested, I have summarized his biography and that is available at the JCA website. And uh, you please kindly read it. I'm really honored to, uh, along with Professor Tagmeyer, who is the crux of our time, to host Yibing to uh, deliver this webinar, which is named after Eric Olson, uh, for his pioneering work, Eric Olson was our speaker the last session, and it's intriguing that back to back his name is on this webinar. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, with that, Yibin, podium is yours. Thank you again. <laughs>